I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand comparing fractions. So we will also find a strategy to compare different kinds of fractions. Let us first understand these kind of arrows, right? This particular symbol is for greater than, this is less than and that is for equal to. Let me write them down. When we compare things we say greater than, so that is normal term, greater than. The symbol for greater than is this, right? So that is greater than. Or we could use less than. The symbol is less than or sometimes it could be equal to. So whenever you compare things could be equal to also, right? So this is the symbol for equal to. Let me give you some examples. So we'll get to fractions later. Let us first consider the numbers itself. Greater than like you know 7 is greater than 5 right and we could say 3 is less than 6 and you know 10 is equals to 10 right so so that is what these symbols represent so greater than less than equal to I hope that part is absolutely clear now it is easy to compare numbers but how do we compare fractions that is what we'll consider now right so let us see how to compare fractions. Now let me give you examples for greater than so that you understand how to compare and figure out whether it's greater or lesser. If we have same denominator, right, so fraction is numerator and denominator, let us say we have same denominator as 5. In that case, you can compare the numerators. Let's say numerators are 3 and 4. Now which is greater? Well, 4 is greater, so we'll write symbol like this, or we can say 3 over 5 is less than 4 over 5. But the simple that arrow, greater is this number, so that bigger part is towards the greater. So we'll say 3 over 5 is less than 4 over 5. So you can read this as uh, 3 over 5 is less than 4 over. Is it okay? Now this was simple since we had the same same denominator, correct? So it was very easy. Now let me take another example. Let us say we have this time fractions with different denominators, six and uh, let me say it is it is uh, three. Okay, let's take it simple. So if I have here one as a numerator and two numerator here, now can you tell me? which one is greater which one is lesser or are they equal how to figure that out now in such cases when we have unlike denominators so we have unlike denominators right now in such cases what should you do now you have to make them same right so you need to do the step here is you should have so convert them to common denominator Then only you can compare. Now to make common, what will you do? Well, we can multiply this by 2. If you multiply this by 2, then you get 1 over 3 as 2 over 6. So what we get here is, if I multiply by 2, I get 2 over 6. And here also I get 2 over 6. And well, now we can compare. They are same, right? So they are equal to. So that is what we can say whether it's equal to or not right so with common denominator is easy to compare so in the first case we already had the common denominator so you just compare the numerator right so so if we have like denominators so we have same denominator then what do you do then just compare numerator right compare numerator But if you have unlike denominators, make them same and then compare, right? So that is how you should be doing it. Now here are a few examples uh, which I will also do and then there will be questions which will be done by you. So let me take another example where it is not that simple. Let me take 3 over 4 and let us say 4 over 5. Now you have to figure out whether... 3 over 4 is greater than or less than or equal to 4 over 5. 
correct so so try it out so let me write down few more questions for you to practice so let us have uh, 3 over 7 and uh, 2 over 2 over 5 right so compare these two and the last one for you is 1 2 over 5 and uh, 1 uh, let us say 4 over 7 I purposely taken difficult numbers for you it will give you good practice correct how do you compare these ones well we need to make common denominator that is to say I could multiply both of them by 5 and these by 4 and then compare right similar things I can do here also to compare but here is a very good strategy and I call this cross multiplication right so we'll do cross multiplication to compare fractions when the denominators are not same now let's see what this cross multiplication is so I'll multiply 4 across with 4 and 5 with 3 so when I do 4 times 4 what do I get 4 times 4 for me is 16 right and 5 times 3 is 15 which is greater well 16 is greater and therefore I get my symbol here 15 is less than 16 so that is a, so 3 over 4 is less than 4 over 5 you get the idea right so cross multiplication is a very fast way of comparing fractions so you can apply cross multiplication here and write down your answer so you can pause the video answer and then look into my solutions right so let us cross multiply 7 times 2 so we have 7 times 2 which is 14 right and 5 times 3 so 5 times 3 is 15 so 15 is greater than so we'll write greater than here since 15 is greater than 14 you get an idea right when you have mixed fractions compare the whole numbers first if whole numbers are same compare the fractions now to compare fractions with unlike denominators what should you do cross multiply what is 7 times 2 so we have 7 times 2 as equals to 14 and we have 5 times 4 as equals to 20 now 14 is less than 20 therefore that symbol is going to come here do you get the idea that is how you should be comparing fractions cross multiplication right remember this strategy we are going to adopt this again and again so that you get masters on this strategy i hope that helps I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you.